national racing superstars have gathered to compete in one of the most unique and demanding challenges in all of motorsports, the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Though the calendar may still say winter, it's time for the 2012 racing season to begin. Race fans, it is time. Please welcome back three-time world champion, Sir Jackie Stewart, with those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. In the history of the Grand Am Rolex Sports Car Series, there has never been a build-up like this. Which for now, Dorsey, if you would, take us through the BMW track map. Well, Daytona International Speedway, known for its high banks, 3.56 miles in length. Those bankings are 31 degrees, 18 in the tri-oval, and down to seven on the back stretch. Now the big number comes right here at start finish. A solid 190 miles an hour as they break into turn one. That corner right there is 63 miles an hour. Let's get this golden race running with a little bit of green. The sports car world is racing at Daytona for the 50th year. Green, green, this one green. will be special. And Ryan Dial, the pole man, sees the green flag for the 50th Rolex 24 at Daytona. Max the axe there, slammed the door on Scott Dixon there as they hustled down to turn one. There's the 01 car, still carving his way through the field. It's past one car after another. And uh, he's uh, really got some good speed out of that car, which of course is what you expect from Scott Pruitt. Whoops. Yep, this is problem for one of the GT Porsches. That's the number 34. Quick off and on down in turn one. When we come back on the other side of this, we're going to delve deep into the GT field, which is still being led by class pole sitter Andrew Davis. He's got three time winner Andy Lally, though, chasing him down for SunTrust Racing. It's not good news for Stephen Kane. As he locked up there, there was no collision though. He had made an enormous ground in that Audi R8 coming up through the field. What exactly went on? Just gets wide there. The exit of the kink there. I'm not sure if he's trying to set up that car in front of him, but drops the right side. Ooh. Narrowly misses that Porsche. Good recovery. Slower GT car ahead as the race leader tries to work his way through the bus stop chicane. Actually four corners, a left and right, followed by a right and left, and then up onto the banking. Slower cars are told to stay low to let the faster cars pass on the high side in the name of safety. You may have noticed we've got a new leader in GT. Marco Holzer for Alex Jobs WeatherTech number 23 team leads the way over Andrew Davis here in the 59 Brumos Porsche. Yeah, Patrick Dempsey. He passed by the 56 Ferrari, which has shown a lot of form right now, but earlier, just a couple of laps ago, here we see coming down into turn one, Patrick gets a little bit wrong, loops it around, not near the tyres, and just recovers nicely and continues, but I wonder if there's any damage to the tyres, Doris. Oh, did he get hit? Oh, yeah. That looks like he took a shot, maybe from one of the Turner BMWs. Off comes the safety car, and Mimo Gidley will lead them to the green flag in the 99. Gains go, Red Dragon, Corvette DP. There is the leader in the Daytona prototype class, the pole setting car. That's not a great shot of Lucas Lure. He's a much younger man than that makes it look. And over at the West Horseshoe, tucked up behind one of the Ganassi cars. Now that is a slide. Yeah, and there's that sand I was talking about. Now, a couple of laps ago, this was Jamie McMurray in the 02 going down the inside of Rojas in the 01, around the slower GT car, through the kink, and pow. Ooh. Not very teammatey. 41 car is in front of one of the Action Express cars. First car gets through. Ooh. The Johnson car collected oh, him. And then this. And then the Porsche. This is one more the WeatherTech car. Rick Johnson of Bend, Oregon. Oh, that was close. Tire, a loose tire, no wheel attached, just That's the carcass of the tire went across, and this is the RX Audi just spinning by itself. Didn't Little hit the wall. Time. Yeah, way, I think that was way too much speed to be honest. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's give you a quick overview of the top 10 positions at the moment and a snapshot of your GT competitors. It's TRG, 
over Magnus, over Stevenson, over Auto House, and in the top five, James Hinchcliffe in that Speed Source Mazda, which just keeps creeping up through the GT field. Magnus Porsche that Justin is driving, along with the likes of Ryan Eversley and Daniel Graff and Ron Yarab there, some seven laps back, six laps back, make that in 2030 class. Go. Look at Ryan Dial on the inside. He wants to go there. Ollie tried to come down, but there was no option this time. He goes to the front. Ollie.